All right, here's what I'm looking for in a dojo and a building that I can turn into a dojo. I'm looking for at least six kick bags, three lightweight, three or nine kick bags, three lightweight, three midweight, three heavyweight kick bags. Okay. I'm looking for wall to wall mirrors all the fucking way around. Even the windows are reflective mirrors on the inside because we don't teach our secrets to outsiders. You're only allowed in the dojo via phone call first and permission to enter. Okay, keeping intact the Dom Sam Lane code, Pride code, and the Akusa code. Okay, I prefer teaching only to my people, but I don't teach to whoever wants to learn, but uh, you're going to pass some tests first before I teach you. Okay, uh, you're going to prove that you're reputable and credible. Well, I don't teach you. Okay. And both that you uh, are non violent, non aggressive, or I don't teach you. And uh, you've got to prove that you're a good person to me for me to want to teach you. And it's $250 a month. That is due on the 1st, or by the actually, it's due on the 31st of every month before the 1st. There is no grace period. You don't pay, you're out of the dojo. On the first year on from the dojo. If you don't pay the two hundred fifty dollars, okay. I'm looking for all the different uh, sparring weapons, uh, plastic swords, the uh, fucking actual swords, the wooden swords called bokens. Okay, I'm looking for them. I'm looking for nunchuckles, practicing nunchuckles, and uh, actual uh, wooden nunchuckles, so that I can train these guys well, so that I can train these women well. Sorry, and um. I'm looking for tonsillas, uh, sparring ones made out of PVC pipe with uh, concrete in them. And I'm looking for the actual tonsillas themselves. I'm looking for actual blow guns with paintballs, not blow darts, paintballs. I'm looking for tri chucks, size, um, kendo sticks, Filipino sticks, stuff like that. Everything martial art. Weapon wise comes into my establishment, my dojo. Walls rounded all the way around. You see nothing but your own reflective object in every bit of that uh, dojo. I expect a, um, I expect a statue of Buddha in that dojo. Pure gold. Solid like 24 karat gold statue of Buddha. It will be bound to Buddha. It's, it's, it's mandatory in our dojo, you bow to Buddha. Then, because we take from the, uh, we take from the, uh, Shintoism in our dojo. <coughs> Every student will be mandated to have a two inch thick binder, eight and a half by eleven. That they can stick paper into. Well, that way they can write down what I'm telling them, how to do the instruction and everything else. So I explain it, I lecture them, they write it down, and then we get up and we practice it. Student on student. Tonsilla versus knife. Knife versus blowgun. Blowgun versus fighting fan. And I teach them how to do it right. I teach them how to disarm, disable, and uh, take them down. I teach them how to do all that. Hand versus knife, and I teach them how to disable that knife immediately out of the hand and uh, use it to uh, lop off the hand and then the fight's over. I teach them how to do defensive mode like that. Turning them into, from defense into offense and boom. They lost their hand and we're going to kill them, so they just lost their hand and, they, and that's recognized by everybody as a predator. A ninja sneak move. And I know plenty of them. Mercenary. I am mercenary for military. So I have military knowledge and training behind me. My boot camp was out in the streets. That's where my boot camp was. The hardest boot camp military learning it out on the streets. Because it's you live or you die. And I live. Military challenged it. You're going to go homeless and we're going to save your life. 
Or is it going to stay in that weird ass building and we got to kill her? I moved out. Uh, nope, not having any part of this building. It's all stupid asses and predators. I'm getting the fuck out of here as soon as I realized what it was all about. Military said, free pass, granted, everything that you want and need. Military passed me a jelly lab card. And uh, it got colluded and racketeered, stolen from me via cops' orders. That was pedophilia. So, uh, I need a new jelly lab. Pass the shoot. I would be grateful to have one. And this time, I'll open up everything so that when it scans, it says it's free. So I got every commodity that I want for free. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Give me one fair shot at it. If I fuck up, it gets stripped for me. If I'm all good, it stays with me. Hollywood, you're owed me that. I want to come in from Rose McGowan. No one else. Pass it to her. As her pass it to me and say, there are very strict rules behind us. Do you want to learn what the rules are? I say, yeah, just give me my card. No, here are the rules. You will not do this. You will not do that. You will not trust this person, that person. And if we give this to you, it is one shot because you weren't at fault for losing your deli lab card. We're reissuing it to you. If you fuck up again, that is on you, not on any of us. Here's your deli lab pass. It's good at every store. It's good at every retail. It's good everywhere where you got to scan a credit card. <clears throat> okay. And it gives me free shit. Like five monsters for the price of two. Shit like that. Okay. And then one monster energy drink to support it. That way I'm always on monster. I'm on that. I give them sponsorship every I mean, I, I ask for them to be a sponsor every day. They ain't kicking me down any monsters, nothing like that. No. They're not giving me shit. And I'm advertising for them for free. No, I'm deserted kickback. Thank you.